Well, this is Sonic Eraser. I'm gonna be honest, this game was a complete mystery to me for a long time. Was it actually made? If it wasn't, then why do we have footage for it? For this, for the purpose of this review, I decided to delve into it, and it turns out, it did release! Technically. It was released only in Japan via a download-only service. Pretty advanced for 1991. And finally, in the mid-2000s, fans were able to get a hold of the ROM and dump it online. So, with the history lesson aside, what's the game like? Well, as you can see, it's a puzzle game. A very basic one, where you just line up two or more things and try to create a chain. If Sonic wasn't here, this wouldn't be a Sonic game. I will say something interesting, though, is that whenever one of these Sonics gets hit, it has a pretty well-done animation of him looking like he's about to pass out. Pretty good. Well, that's it for the positives. This game sounds like the Genesis is trying to claw its way out of your system and forcibly shove itself into your brain. This one terrible track loops through the entire match and every sound effect is like nails on a chalkboard. Seriously, it hurts. After my four minute long match, the game just ends. Yeah, it shows the credits, which shows that there was only one programmer and one person that did the music. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. For a download-only service game, I guess it's fine, but for now, don't play this. There's far better puzzle games out there, and your ears will thank you for it. For me, I'm gonna go get some Aleve.